Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we're on episode number 83. As always, I'm Shane. Go ahead and follow me on Google+. Also find me on Twitter, at smthomas3. And go to codekarate.com and sign up for the newsletter. Yesterday, if you watched episode number 82, we talked about the Field Formatter Class Module. Today we're going over the Field Formatter CSS Class Module. So, as you can tell, the names of the module are very similar, and they have a somewhat similar purpose, but there is a distinct difference, and we're going to go over what that is and how you can use the Field Formatter CSS class module on your Drupal sites. So the Field Formatter class module that we went over yesterday, well, this one will allow you to change or add a class around a specific field item. So for instance, we can change a class around this wrapper div or give this wrapper div a specific CSS class. The field formatter CSS class module, it allows you to change a class around the entire node. So the entire node here, but have it be based on a specific value set in one of these fields. So depending on the value set in, for example, maybe this field or this field, you can change a class that wraps this entire node. This isn't necessarily just for nodes, it can also be used on field collections using the field collection module or fieldable panels panes. And it works with text fields, list fields, boolean fields, and taxonomy fields. Today we're just going to look at a list field because if you can do it with one you'll understand how it works and you can use it with any of those four fields. So we're going to go ahead and get started. As you can see, I have a simple article content type with this status field. I'm going to go ahead and show you how that was built. Simply go to the content type and manage fields on the article content type. And you will see that I have added a field for status. It's called field status. It's a list field that contains text and it is a select list widget. I have a list of key value pairs for the allowed value. These are needs review, ready to publish, or article published. And this is just one example of how I thought of an idea of how to use it. You may think of many, many of your own once you understand how it works. In this case, let's assume that this article needs to be reviewed by multiple people. So this is a separate mechanism than just the publish checkbox. Let's say maybe an editor needed to review it and change the status before someone actually changed this article to publish and then checked the publish checkbox. You know, obviously you can use your imagination here and figure out how it could apply to other scenarios that you may need it. The trick is you come into the manage display tab and you find the field that you want to control that you want to be able to control the CSS class and you change the format from the default to this new CSS class format. So once I change this and save it, now keep in mind I have added a little bit of CSS and I'll show you. And as you can see, the status field is gone and now I have this green bar on the side, which I'm just using that as a simple example of how you could use that CSS class to give a visual indicator of the status. And as you can see, it applies to the entire node, not just one field. So if I change it to in review instead of ready to publish, save it, it has a different color. This is all driven off of one class. So if you look at this div that wraps this entire node, you can see it has a list of classes. Node, node-article, node-promoted, and the important one here, needs review. And this class is just that value from that dropdown. So I go ahead and change it back to ready to publish. And I save it. Now it changes to green and you can see there's a class called ready to publish on this node. You can see my CSS right over here. I just simply have it adding a border, a green border with a little bit of padding. I just through that together really quickly as an example. You can of course change that to whatever you might need. 
if I change the status then to article published, I don't have any CSS applying to this specific class, so then it makes the article look normal without any bar on the side or any type of indicator. Of course, if you change the field formatter for that field back to the default, it's not going to have this CSS class down here and things will be back to just the normal way it displays with the status field displaying as text. So as you can see, the field formatter CSS class is a pretty powerful little module if you need to change the display or styling or theming of an entire node based on a specific field. So I'm sure you can use your imagination and find many ways that this could be useful on your next Drupal project. If you have any questions or you have any other ideas for future Daily Dose of Drupal modules, go ahead and contact me on CodeKarate.com, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.